I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about People should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this. I think people should be You're happy. a little bit scared. A little bit, yeah, You personally. Course. I think if I said I were not, you should either not trust me or be very unhappy I'm in this job. So, Sam Altman dropped a major update about GPT-5 and other future models OpenAI is working on. In this video, I will tell you exactly what he talked about. And if there's one thing that's for sure, GPT-5 is a potential revolution. Let's get into it. In a recent interview, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman took the stage to unveil several exciting developments, among them GPT-5. So, is GPT-5 fact or fiction? Well, we have our answer now. Since the release of GPT-4, rumors about the imminent release of GPT-5 has been swirling. That's a good sign, because it shows that people are really interested in OpenAI's legacy. They continue to outdo themselves with every GPT release, so it's no surprise that the concept of GPT-5 has industries buzzing with excitement. Now, there have been rumors and speculations about GPT currently undergoing training. Some even claim that a December 2023 release is on the horizon. But that's just wishful thinking. In a recent MIT event, Sam Altman shed some light on the GPT-5 situation. In his words, GPT-5 is not currently in training and won't be for some time. But like OpenAI, an earlier version of the letter claimed that OpenAI is training GPT-5 right now. We are not and won't for some time. So yes, GPT-5 is a thing, but OpenAI isn't in a hurry to develop it. So, Altman has clarified that GPT-5 isn't coming anytime soon, and of course, we trust what the CEO says. But let's read between the lines, because there are subtleties a lot of people seem not to grasp. GPT-5 isn't in training, right? But what if it was? What do I mean? Let me explain. There are different stages of training. OpenAI may be deciding on the model's underlying architecture. GPT-5 may even be in its training data collection phase. Do you see where I'm going with this? So, to the public, there is no work on GPT-5 just yet. But behind the scenes, they know exactly what is going on. Don't forget that GPT-4 finished training in August 2022. But when was it released? Just over three months ago. It was released March 2023. What am I driving at here? There is a possibility that GPT-5 has concluded training or is nearly doing so. And OpenAI is only waiting to introduce it to the public at the right time. Not saying that's the case, but it's a possibility. Remember that barely three months ago, tech dignitaries signed an open letter calling to pause training systems more intelligent than GPT-4. The letter carried signatories from Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, Apple's co-founder. Naturally, the public will raise eyes if GPT-5 is released, so OpenAI is treading with caution. Still, Sam Altman has given a response to the letter, saying it lacked technical nuance as to what actually needs to be stopped. Anyway, that's a matter for the tech lords. We know now that there's most likely to be GPT-5, but a 2023 release is doubtful. Even a 2024 release also seems unlikely, because Altman mentioned working on GPT-4 to make improvements and add the modality that was promised. But let's keep our fingers crossed. So, what did Sam Altman reveal about GPT-5? Of course, we can expect it to surpass its predecessors. He spoke about the progression of the models and what we can expect from future models. It's funny how as of 2019, GPT wasn't really a thing. Most people, well, regular people, had no idea of GPT then, and that was when GPT-2 launched. So OpenAI moved on to GPT-3, and still not much noise, but it laid the groundwork for the revolutionary GPT-3.5, on which the groundbreaking Jet GPT was built. This is where the AI game changed. According to Sam, he knew ChatGPT was something, but he didn't expect it to become what it is today. ChatGPT had a staggering 1 million users in just 5 days. Building on the success of GPT 3.5, OpenAI launched GPT 4, which blew ChatGPT out of the water. I mean, just take a look at these benchmark tasks. In GRE Quantitative, GPT 3.5 scored 147 out of 170, with GPT 4 hitting 163 out of 170. In the Uniform Bar Exam, we had GPT 3.5 with 213 out of 400, and GPT 4 with 298. 
GPT-3.5 was a game changer, with many companies rushing to implement the model in their own services. But GPT-4 shows human-level performance on most of these academic and professional exams. Following this, we can expect GPT-5 to be a beast. We've already seen what ChatGPT 3.5 has done and what GPT-4 is doing. Safe to say, we're in for exciting times ahead with GPT-5. But this also brings us to the issue of emerging capabilities in AI. What are emerging capabilities? Well, get ready, because this is an interesting one. This whole thing ties to prediction. From GPT 3.5, OpenAI was able to predict what's next for GPT 4. Now, we have more predictions about the capabilities of GPT 5. You're probably thinking, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing. But here's the thing. AI is advancing rapidly, and the possibilities seem to be unlimited. Already, we have AI that can build itself. I'm talking about Tesla's Optimus, which can very much build another robot exactly like itself. Fascinating, but terrifying. Think about what this means for factory workers. But there's something going on right now that I guarantee you most people don't know about. AI is advancing so fast that it's beginning to display capabilities it wasn't built with. Classic AI was just that. No surprises, no new abilities, just what it was built to be. Now, we have modern AI differing from that path on its own, with no interference from humans whatsoever. Here's the bizarre thing. Experts don't understand how, when, or where these AI models gain new capabilities. They just show up. Here's a clip so you understand better. These models have capabilities we do not understand how they show up, when they show up, or why they show up. Um, again, not something that you would say of like the old class of AI. So here's an example. Um, these are two different models, GPT and then a different model by Google. And there's no difference in the, um, the models. They just increase in parameter size. That is, they, just, they just get bigger. What, what are parameters, Aza? It's just like the, the number, essentially, of uh, weights in a matrix. Um, so it's just, it's just the size. You're just increasing this, the scale of the thing. Um, and what you see here, and I'll move into some other examples that might be a little easier to understand, is that you ask the, these AIs to do arithmetic, and they can't do them, they can't do them, and they can't do them, and at some point, boom, they just gain the ability to do arithmetic. No one can actually predict. You heard him right. No one knows why it happens. It just happens. In 2018, uh, GPT had no theory of mind. In 2019, barely any theory of mind. Uh, in 2020, it starts to develop the, like, the strategy level of a four-year-old. By 2022, January, it's developed the strategy level of a seven-year-old. And by November of last year, it's developed almost the strategy level of a nine-year-old. Now, here's the really creepy thing. We only discovered that AI had grown this capability last month. It had been out for... What, two years? Two years, yeah. AI has been getting more intelligent in its matter of reasoning, but they had only discovered its newfound capability in February. And get this, it has already been out for two years. Bear in mind that it's still growing whether anyone knows or not. This stuff is really fascinating, but concerning. At this point, we could have conscious AI, but we won't know until, who knows, eight months or one year later. This is just one of the things Altman is worried about. GPT 3.5 and 4 have provided a solid foundation for the next generation of AI models. What Altman is saying here is that following previous models, they can predict some things about GPT 5. These predictions could be how large the neural network is, its parameters, test scores, etc. According to Altman, the issue now is, will they be able to predict the new capabilities that will most likely spring up from nowhere? These capabilities may not exist in GPT-4 and previous models, but they can show up at any time in GPT-5 and future models. That is the billion-dollar question that needs to be figured out as AI models advance. It's a good thing that Altman recognizes and understands that we are at a turning point in human history. As such, we need to tread carefully. Thankfully, Sam Altman isn't just plunging headlong to develop new AI models. Right now, it seems like we are in an AI race with companies scrambling to outdo each other. But this issue of emerging capabilities leads me to my next point. Artificial General Intelligence The concept of AGI has been a hot topic in the AI circles. AI has advanced at lightning speed, and what was once thought impossible now seems like child's play. Who would have thought we'd get an AI that writes eerily human-like text as in the last two years? But that's where we are now, and there's no going back. 
Anyway, speculations about GPT-5 have sparked talks of AI reaching AGI. GPT-5 may not catapult us directly into the realm of AGI, but there's no denying that each new generation of AI brings us one step closer to it. While Sam Altman didn't make definitive claims, he hinted at the possibility of GPT-5 pushing the boundaries of AGI, and this can only happen with the addition of more modalities. Audio and Video Modalities According to Altman, we can't reach AGI with just text. Text is great, but there are other ways we interact, so he has the vision to make things more visual. OpenAI has already started using GPT-4 with image modality. We don't have that yet, but it's obvious that's one of the things OpenAI is working on. Sam Altman did say that there are no plans for GPT-5 in the works at the moment, but they're working on expanding and improving GPT-4, so we can expect video and possibly audio in GPT-5. Now that will be interesting to see, because we already have a glimpse of how it's going to be. There's Meta's image bind that combines different modalities to act as one. Audio and video on GPT-5 will be pretty helpful to people who love to take in information visually and those with sound or sight disabilities. Imagine engaging in meaningful conversations with GPT-5 using voice or interacting through immersive visual experiences. This leap into multimodality holds immense potential for diverse applications, from content creation to virtual assistants. That's better interactivity, which is never a bad idea. So with GPT-5, we're looking at potential voice recognition and synthesis, facial expression and emotion detection, and gesture control. GPT-5 could be a more immersive and engaging model, and I'm here for it. Now, if GPT-5 becomes so advanced, it raises some ethical concerns. There's no limit to what it can be used to do. It could be used to generate fake news, impersonate people, and much more. Already, we've seen how an AI-generated image of an explosion at the Pentagon caused a stock market crash. The funny thing is it rebounded once the image was confirmed fake. This is just one of the many instances of how sophisticated AI has become. The question now is, are we ready for more advancement? Share your thoughts in the comments, and please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more AI updates, and I will see you in the next one.